Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, I don't watch local news a lot, but I decided for show preparation to watch local news footage and coverage of the shootings down at Smale Park this weekend in Cincinnati, Ohio. The two victims who were allegedly shooting each other are Dexter Wright, 19, and Milo Watson, 16. Two young black males shooting at each other. And there's a girl that's shot in the back in critical condition. Two other people were shot in the arm. A lot of people were injured in this crossfire shooting. I was blown away. By the way, just for the record, I watched News 5. I'm assuming it was the same at 19, 9, and 12. News 5 failed to show pictures that we're going to show you of Dexter Wright and Milo Watson. Why? Why? You know why? Because they're black. Because they're black. We don't want to make an issue of his black. Now, I got to ask you a question. Do you think they would have showed pictures of these people if they were white? You're damn right they would. And by the way, one of them is 19. He ain't a kid. And in fact, this 16-year-old ain't a kid either. He's carrying a damn gun. He's carrying a gun. He's shooting in a smell park. Really? And I can't stress this enough. I'm blown away how everybody starts going, oh, we got to get the community, uh, the community, community. It's all bullshit. This is about two things and two things only. The destruction of the freaking homes, the, the, the homes of these kids, the destruction of the whole world around them, and this whole defund the police, don't charge anybody with a crime, all that crap. I've had my differences with Joe Dieters. But Joe Dieters has got it right. Otis said, the only thing that makes any difference is accountability, and you put them away. He used to tell me all the time, the only solution for crime is you put the bad people in jail. That's the only thing. And I believe that. You got young black gangsters, 19 and 16, shooting at each other, killing each other in a public park. Why would anybody go down to Cincinnati at night? And I'm telling you, nobody's talking about this. Where do you think they got those guns? Do you think they walked in and purchased those guns at Dick's Sporting Goods? Hell no. The local media sucks. It's why we're getting into the game. It's unbelievable. Uh, Trump Florida rally was a huge success. Big crowd. All I want to do is just plug Trump any chance I get. And he talked about he wants to protect our First Amendment, Second Amendment. He wants to protect America. He's fighting for us, folks. That's what he did in 2016, and he's still doing it. Uh, Joe Biden said, you can't define America? What? And you can't define what an American is? I dare you? I bet you. This is our president of the United States? You can't define America or what an American's supposed to be? On the 4th of July? Jack wagon. Good old Joe Biden. National Geographic said fireworks are racist. And they based this primarily on the fact of the smoke that it leaves. National Geographic. One third of adults are proud to be American. Two thirds aren't. You don't think the indoctrination and the critical race theory and all that crap, all the stuff that's going on in our public schools isn't working for them? It's working. Poll proves it's working. Uh, George Foreman. God love George Foreman. I'm giving him Oracle stats. He said he's been told his whole life to say he's not proud of America, and he said he's proud to be an American and proud to be America. Good for George Foreman. Folks, I've been, I say this all the time. The only way this country changes when people like George Foreman, as many blacks as possible who get it, speak up. That's what unites the country. Remember, they don't want the country united. And it's a bunch of bullshit to act like we're going to unite all, come together. You can't come together when one side doesn't want to come together. 
They don't want it. They want the race war all the time. Uh, Walmart singers, how cool. You can mock Walmart all you want. How great is it? Walmart breaks out and the national anthem. Walmart shoppers. Is that great? I love that. Uh, Rosanna Arquette, liberal herself, said, fireworks must end for Mother Earth. Rosanna Arquette. Don't you just, I tell you what, I think I hate the liberal woke uh, whites worse than the militant black folks. I mean, it's just, ugh. Uh, Corey Bush says black people aren't free. Really? In the United States of America, black people are free. They sure are. Sorry, Corey. Apparently she's getting some back, backlash. Maxine Waters says Declaration of Independence was only for white men. White men. Well, guess what? You go back in history, in African history, any history, Chinese history, Middle East history, European history, the world's evolved. And to go back in time and pass judgment like that on some things is wrong. You can pass judgment on some things in history, the Holocaust. We can pass judgment on that. We can pass judgment on Stalin. We can pass judgment on Mao. But you can't go back and pass judgment on societal evolution. Women have the right to vote. Blacks have the right to vote. We evolved. Sorry, Maxine. You got to look at some periods of history just the way it is. A Statue of Liberty. Somebody from the Washington Post says the Statue of Liberty is hypocrisy. Really? They're going after the Lady Liberty even. A Black National Anthem. Vanessa Williams and PBS tax dollars, got a lot of crap for doing the Black National Anthem. I gotta ask you a question. Do you think the Black National Anthem focus on that unites this country? We have a National Anthem. We're gonna have a White Anthem? Black Anthem? See, there are so many people that segregate themselves. Black awards, black this, black this, black this, black, 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 black. It's all they do. Doesn't help a damn thing. Uh, New York Times, they did an article about the flag is alienating. Mike, every time I look at the flag, every time I look at the flag, and I think this is the case for most Americans, 90% of Americans, you look at that freaking flag and you think, God bless America, thank God I live here. That's what most people do, no alienation. Uh, NPR said the Declaration of Independence is racist. I think I've already covered that under Maxine Waters. Uh, some U.S. women, they're denying it now, soccer players turn their back when the national anthem was played being sung by a World War II veteran. I call bullshit. They did too turn their backs. It's disgusting. Uh, military and the vaccine. A lot of people, including Congressman Massey, are saying that military personnel will quit before they get the vaccination. You know, requiring people to get a vaccination of something that chances are isn't gonna kill them even if they get it is preposterous. I mean, it is, this COVID crap is just, got, it's just gotta stop. Should have stopped a long, long time ago. Uh, back to school inflation. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just wait till everybody goes back to school and they go buy those school supplies, look the hell out. It's already been reported, it's gonna be high. National Teachers Union voted that the critical race theory will be taught and they're proud of it. Folks, I wanna tell you something. I've known teachers, and I kinda of like teachers, you know, feel sorry for teachers, but I tell you right now, this National Teachers Union and these state unions of these teachers, I don't care for them, don't like them. And I don't have the best interests of kids at heart. It's all about money. I'm telling you, folks, hug a teacher today. I don't know. Some teachers need to be smacked. Oh, my goodness. Charlie Munger. Yeah, the right-hand man, the right-hand man of Warren Buffett was singing the praises of how communist China works. It's the communism capitalism blend that they got going. And Charlie Munger was praising it. There's a great line in Bruce Springsteen's song, Badlands. All men want to be rich. Rich men want to be king, and a king ain't satisfied till he owns everything. The billionaires all landed in Sun Valley this weekend. I'm telling you folks, that's the way it is. They want it all. They'll take the government money 
when it helps their bottom lines and puts money in their pockets. They want the government paying for those vaccines, all those billionaire vaccine guys. It disgusts me. You know who the real capitalists are in this country? The mom and pop shops and what I call medium sized businesses. People who are family built businesses. You can think of all the ones here around greater Cincinnati. They build up a company, 500 to 1,000 employees. They're good, good strength. Those are the people that are real capitalists. Uh, Keystone lawsuit. The developer Keystone suing the government for $15 billion. I hope he wins. Can you imagine having a contract, having to build that freaking pipeline and Joe Biden cancels it on you? Bullshit. Ukraine. Joe Biden turns his back on Ukraine. What just happens? They sign a deal with China. Job. Joe. Christy Alley says that she thinks Hollywood is trying to make pedophilia the norm, okay, and everything else. That is disgusting and sick. Christy Alley. You know what? She's somebody who's been brave enough to speak out. She probably wouldn't get any more roles anyway, so she probably said, what the hell? But people like Christy Alley. Can you imagine what Christy Alley knows working in the industry? Everybody knows Hollywood is decadent as hell. And of course, now studios owned by China. Shakari Richardson, she is the black athlete, our star 100 meter woman runner that got in trouble with the Olympic Committee, can't run because of pot. I wanna tell you something. I support the woman. Yeah, rules are rules are rule, Joe Biden says. I wanna tell you something. I like this lady, she's fast as hell. Her mom dies, so she takes, she smokes some pot. Now, I got to tell you something. Aren't you sick of the fact that pot recreational is legal in all these states around the country? It's okay for medicinal purposes, and we're still charging people with pot or smoking pot and banning for pot. The ship has sailed. Let Shakari run. Yale strikes again. They're going to offer a class where they're going to compare the United States prison system with the Nazi Germany, communist China, and communist Russia. Unbelievable. A uh, Russian hack. Have we heard a response yet from old Joe? The cyber attacks that just keep coming. They must have, you know what? They must have cyber attacked in a sector that he said was okay. Lego pride. There are leftists that are mad that Lego pride's Lego set says plus 18, keeping away from kids. There's people mad about that. They want it available for all kids. Sexification of America. Hunter Biden, they just keep dripping out these uh, releases of what they're finding on Hunter's laptop. He was complaining about paying Joe, Joe's bills. See, see that business deals, why? He's helping him and Joe out. And then the last thing, you know, the smartest man in America says, prostitutes need to unionize. They need to unionize. unionize. Hunter Biden, the first union chief of the United Prostitutes Union of America, the UPUW, of federal prisoners awaiting execution. All right, this is funny. This is satire. This came from the B site, Babylon B. They said that federal prisoners awaiting execution. This is, this is so sad. It's funny. Federal prisoners awaiting execution are just going to be released to Chicago. I mean, gosh, damn, man. Chicago, I mean, this whole weekend shooting 100, apparently some 100, some odd shooting deaths great, all across this country. And you know who was firing? It was black gangsters in these major cities like Philadelphia, Toledo, Cincinnati. Where's, where's, where's all the people speaking out about that? Then they blame the community. I guarantee you not one of those guns was purchased at a Dick's Sporting Goods. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you had a good 4th of July. Have a good day today, too.